So let's talk about packing. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are gonna talk about the loadout for Citizen Pistol 1. Uh, Citizen Pistol 1 is our flagship handgun course that we offer a couple times a year, and I hope that you're considering to come down and join us, in which case, you're gonna need to know what to bring. Now, we do have a packing list uh, on our website that you can download. I will link it in the description below, uh, and you are, of course, more than welcome again to download that and print it off, and come make sure you got everything you need and then come shoot with us. So we're just gonna go through that list and we're gonna go through the loadout here and uh, we hope to see you at class. So the very first thing you will need, of course, is a handgun. <laughs> the course is called Citizen Pistol One, so it will be smart to bring a pistol. If you can, I would recommend to bring a second pistol in case that your first one goes down. There is nothing more frustrating than being at a course and having equipment fail on you. I have been there, that has happened to me, and it is extremely frustrating when you're trying to learn and your equipment gets in your way. So bring a handgun. If you have one, bring a second one. If you don't, don't sweat it. It's not that big of a deal. It's more of a just in case kind of thing. Uh, that being said, I would highly, highly recommend you bring a pistol that is at least a G19 size or larger. Remember, we're gonna be shooting about 500 rounds uh, at this course, and shooting on a smaller framed gun uh, that often, that frequently, is gonna start to be less than pleasurable at about the midway point through the day. So I would highly recommend to you to bring a larger framed pistol. Uh, again, I don't think a G19 is that large of a frame, but larger relative to all the um, pocket size nine millimeters out there nowadays. But bring at least a G19 size or larger, you'll definitely be thanking me later. The next thing, of course, is any kind of uh, weapon care equipment, right? So this is just a cleaning kit. This is actually an AR-15 cleaning kit, but there's lube in here and there's a rod to punch out any stuck casings. Uh, between lube and some basic tools and a toothbrush and a rag, you're really gonna have all your bases covered. That even if your gun needs a quick cleaning, you're gonna be able to make that happen. Really, if you lube your gun up well at the beginning of the day, you're probably not gonna have a problem, assuming you have a halfway decent firearm. The next thing you will need, obviously, are bullets, because those are important. So bring your magazines loaded. Always bring your magazines loaded to any course you go to. Don't show up with empty magazines, that's just silly. Uh, load those magazines. For this course, you're gonna need at least four magazines uh, and 500 rounds total. So load your four magazines, bring the rest of your rounds in some kind of uh, container. By the way, you should be storing your ammo in a, in a container, not in the boxes. Uh, the boxes can uh, absorb moisture over the long haul, which is bad, and it just creates more trash once you get to the range. So dump all of your bullets into an ammo crate. Uh, thank me later. One other thing I wanted to make sure to note on the pistols is that you bring a hard-sided holster. Uh, that is a class requirement that you have a hard-sided holster. None of those soft, foamy, garbage holsters that are gonna get you to ND into your leg. You will, of course, need a good gun belt. This is just my EBC belt. Uh, this is the Magpul uh, El Tejas belt. I like this belt. I've worn it for, I don't know, four or five years, a long time. And I really, really like this belt. The original one that I've been wearing the whole time. Uh, but you'll need some, some kind of belt that's built to support the weight of the gun. Again, that's gonna change your life. If you don't have a real gun belt, go out and get one. Thank me later. Uh, you will also need some kind of magazine pouch. Now, I carry a dedicated magazine pouch on my person every day anyway, uh, so that's, that's just what this is. But you should, you know, if you're gonna show up to a handgun course, it's gonna be helpful for you to have a magazine pouch to put magazines in and take them out of. Now, again, if you don't have that, I wouldn't lose too much sleep over it. Just go ahead and throw a magazine in your pocket for the day but this is gonna make your life a lot easier, a lot smoother for learning, and honestly, you should be carrying at least one of these every day anyway. If you have one, uh, I would highly recommend bringing your handheld tactical light, right? You should have one because it gets dark every day, but if you don't, again, don't sweat it. It's not a light, low light course. We are not gonna be shooting at night or anything like that. Uh, we will get to practice some techniques, but if you don't have this, it's really not that big of a deal. Bring a pen and a notebook. This is my fancy notebook cover. Uh, bring a pen and a notebook. Every course you go to, you should take copious, copious amounts of notes. I'm always amazed how many people don't take notes at courses. You are taking time out of your day, you are paying money to show up to learn. So take a lot of notes. And even if that's just in between drills and stuff, writing down what the drill was, writing down what you did, writing down any finer points to work on or something you learned, 
take tons of notes. Food, so we will be out there for uh, all day and you will need a lunch. So bring a sack with lunch in it uh, and then water. I usually recommend to bring about a gallon of water. This is just representative, right? Uh, but bring water, bring a lunch, bring snacks, bring all that stuff. Last but not least, you'll need your PPE gear. So knee pads, if you want them, not required by any stretch, but we will be doing some kneeling and stuff. So if you want knee pads or if you have injuries, please bring your knee pads. Uh, eyes and ears, right? That's important. You gotta have your, your eye and ear protection. That's obviously super important. Uh, and then stuff like sunblock and insect repellent. You know, these you're always gonna need, right? Cause we're gonna be outside, it's gonna be the summer, it's gonna be hot, so you're gonna need sunblock. Bring a hat or sunglasses if that's your style. Uh, and then insect repellents almost always required. So at the end of the day, like we've covered here, you really do not need that much stuff. Uh, if you just have your pistol, remember the second pistol is just a backup just in case. So if you don't even have that, you just have a pistol and some basic supporting gear, you're able to show up to class and have a very successful day training and learning. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this gives you a real basic understanding of what you're gonna need. You can, of course, feel free to add to this list. You can show up with as much stuff as you want, uh, but this is really just kind of a good understanding of the minimum requirements in order for you to have a successful, fun day training. So we hope to see you soon at Citizen Pistol One. Do brave deeds and endure.